Greetings gang, Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education, coming at you with another video short to help you study for the CEN exam. So today I want to do a couple minutes talking about cardiac stuff as far as EKGs and ACLS on the CEN exam. Of course I get you know questions a lot of times about you know what's on the exam, what do I need to focus on, things like that. So one of the big things I try and do and teach you guys via classes or videos is not always what so much is on the exam, but what is not on the exam, so you don't need to worry about it so much, okay? So EKGs, first and foremost, you will not see an EKG on this test, okay? That being said, you will get questions about lead elevations, and that's it, all right? There is, remember this, nurse, this test is emergency nursing medicine focused, emergency being those first few minutes or that first phase of care where we make some decisions and some interventions that can make a difference in this patient's acute or emergent presentation. So for the EKG stuff, we're, they are not expecting you to be cardiologists. You are not going to be held to the standard of things like poor R wave progression, um, T wave changes, things like that, um, repolarization abnormalities. The big cognitive thing for the CE exam is can you pick out a STEMI when it's happening? Because let's face it, that is a priority of care for us in those first few minutes of meeting with and talking to our patients and that rapid first level assessment. So you won't see an EKG on the test, but what you'll see is in the, the stem of the question, you'll see a description of EKG uh, ST changes and usually asking you to identify which zone or what type of MI the patient is having, okay? Non-STEMIs will not be on the test, okay? Because a non-STEMI, you won't know that until you've assessed your patient, done some workup, got some troponins back, things like that. You're looking for STEMIs, all right? So straightforward, that's the only EKG cognitive content you're held to account for, your ST elevations. I do another video on cardiac, and I have some graphics about the different ST elevation zones. Um, if you've seen the class, or if you've heard from another presenter, or learned something in the past, you might remember about I see all leads. That phrase is to remind you, I for inferior, which is 2, 3, AVF. S for septal, which is V1 and V2. All, the letter A, is for the anterior leads. V1, V2, V3, V4. And then your lateral leads, your lateral MI, letter L which is V5, V6, and lead one, okay? So all you need to know is those four major injury pattern zones, and of those four, you're likely to get a question about the inferior MI, which is 2, 3, ABF, okay? ACLS, what you need to know for the test. All of ACLS is fair game on this CEN exam. Under the, AC, if it's an ACLS type question, you could see the typical ACLS lead to rhythm strip for arrhythmia identification. I've seen those leads, I've seen those tracings on the exam before, so that's possible. So if, if it's an ACLS question, they might give you lead to, show you a picture of a rhythm, and ask you to either identify it, or pick an intervention, or pick a drug, something related to how you to identify that rhythm. So definitely brush up on your practice ACLS rhythm strips. Now we're talking those major lethal or significant dysrhythmias, V-fib, asystole, third degree heart block, first degree, second degree, uh, you know, PACs, things that could come right out of ACLS, okay? If they're asking you for ACLS type interventions, it is going to be the, only going to be the first, the first, either the first line interventions or maybe the second. Um, for example, the this, this CE exam is not going to take you all the way down that SVT flow sheet that just goes, you know, from ACLS, it has that long flow sheet or that flow chart with all the different steps all the way down to like crazy stuff like, you know, prenestal at the bottom or something like that for rate control. It's going to be the first one or two line interventions. And you're, so you're basically identify the rhythm, the symptoms, and then like, because they're usually going to ask you what's a priority intervention. So that means the first thing you're gonna do for whatever the dysrhythmia is. Um, if they ask you for the, ne the next intervention, they've already told you what's been done. So that should make it a lot easier for you. Uh, take that burden off your minds. You don't need to go 
um, memorize you know all these different EKG interpretations for EKG stuff. ACLS, focus on what you know, what you've been taught in your ACLS classes. Focus on those immediate first one or two line interventions that are important for the patient. Okay. Um, I hope this helps you, and uh, if, it, if it does, great. You know, put a comment down below, uh, hit the like button, share it with the other people um, that may be taking the exam soon, and let me know what you think or any feedback you got. I hope it helps. Stay safe. Later.